In this video, I'm gonna list 10 plugins that should be among your first purchases when you start producing music at home. I'll give you recommendations for reverbs, delays, synths, all-in-one vocal processors, and even some plugins that give you tons of playable sounds for any genre of music. And I'll also add some plugin bundles that are worth the long-term investment. If you're new around here, I'm Sanjay C. I've got tons of tutorials and music gear reviews on my channel. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I always get straight to the point in my reviews and tutorials. Let's get started. Number one on my list is a modern synth plugin like Serum, Massive, or Pigments by Artoria. Synth plugins give you a plethora of sounds at your fingertips, and best of all, you can use them to create virtually any sound possible. The reason this is number one in the list is because you'll probably need to spend some time learning the synth plugin you choose, but the time and effort you put into it is going to be worth your while for sure. One of my favorites is Pigments by Artoria. It's powerful, the interface is intuitive, and it comes with excellent, excellent presets to get you started. By the way, what's your favorite synth plugin? Comment below. Number two is a reverb plugin that takes you beyond your DAW's stock reverb. I'll give you a few of my favorites. First is Valhalla Vintage Verb. I use this on so many things. It's light and powerful at the same time. Another excellent and amazing sounding reverb is ROM by Native Instruments. Adding this to any track makes it just shine. At number three is the delay plugin. Once again, the delay plugins you buy extend the possibilities of what your DAW's delay can do. I use Sound Toys Echo Boy Jr. extensively. It's easy to use, has some of the best sounding delay I've heard, and has some extra controls and excellent presets that will just inspire you. By the way, Sound Toys makes an amazing plugin bundle that I highly recommend. If you buy one FX plugin bundle, Sound Toys should be the one you choose. Oh, by the way, this is not the be all and end all of all plugin choices. If you have some recommendations, Leave them in the comments below. At number four is an all-in-one vocal processing plugin. I love these because they take the guesswork out of your vocal effects chain and get you to great results really fast. All-in-one vocal plugins give you compression, reverb, delay, and add air or body to your vocals super quickly too. I've used the Waves Greg Wells Voice Centric plugin for a while. Also worth checking out is a brand new Al Schmidt plugin from Leapwing Audio. Uh I see the light on. I see the light on. But it took some time off from you. I see the light on. But it took some time off from you. I talked about a synth plugin. How about instrument plugins? One of the most desirable sounds is a realistic acoustic piano. Most DAWs don't come with the best sounding acoustic pianos. I highly recommend pianos from Native Instruments and Artoria. Alicia's Keys is a standard used by so many producers. Arteria also has piano plugins that sound really good. If you have the cash for it, Keyscape by Spectrosonics has beautiful sounding pianos and other keyboards as well. Speaking of Spectrosonics, Next is an all-in-one instrument plugin like Nexus or Omnisphere. Both of these have tons and tons of presets covering almost any instrument you can imagine, including guitars, strings, synths, keyboards, brass, anything you want. Thank you. 
Both Nexus and Omnisphere have top quality sounds, but that comes at a price. If you're looking for something cheaper, you can get Expand 2 by Air, super cheap. Now with Expand 2, you won't get the same quality of sounds or the included effects, but it's a good start for beginners. If you want to pick and choose certain instruments, check out the bundles from Native Instruments. I walk you through every Native Instruments bundle and the sounds included in a video here. Next, things get super interesting when you delve into compressor plugins. There are some compressors out there that add a unique style of compression, and some use AI to help you compress optimally. All compressors help you get an even volume from the sounds that you add to your tracks. If you want to get a combo compressor that the pros use in studios, consider an LA-2A and an 1176 plugin combo. Waves makes the CLA-2A and the CLA-76, which are a great value and sound excellent. I see the light on, but it took some Hey, before we get to the next three, if you're looking for some free plugins, check out my Saturday news reports and my 50 free plugins video as well. You'll find it on my channel. At number eight are lo-fi or tape saturation plugins. Now, even if you don't make lo-fi music, these plugins add warmth and character to your music, making it warmer, adding that classic tone, and making it sound less electronic. At number nine are mastering plugins. My mastering plugin of choice is Ozone by Isotope. Mastering is the last step in getting your song or beat ready for your listeners. It gets the volume levels up to what you hear on Spotify or the radio, and also helps with compression, the stereo image, and EQ. Ozone is an excellent all-in-one solution, and it's really easy to use. It has a mastering assistant that just does all the work for you, listening to your music and adjusting it to the right level. This is probably my most recommended plugin in this list. At number 10 is a drum sample manager. You're probably gonna add some sort of rhythm to your tracks and the drum sounds included with your doll will only get you so far. XO by Xline Audio is an amazing plugin that gives you beats, samples, and is super easy to use to add drum tracks to your songs. It also categorizes and uses any other drum samples you've downloaded from the internet. Speaking of samples, you can also get Sample Manager by ADSR for free. It also categorizes and lets you use your drum samples from your entire library. So this is my list of must-have plugins when you start producing at home. Did I miss something that you highly recommend? Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Keep making the music you love and I'll see you on Saturday for the latest from the music gear world. Hey, if you wanna check out other plugins I've reviewed, check out one of these videos next.